So what do you see as the biggest challenge when it comes to plastics recycling? Well, I think there are two challenges. Um, from our perspective as, as brand owners in the, in the beverage industry, we see a structural um, uh, shortage of material that's actually being collected. So that means increasing collection rates is a must uh, to keep up with the uh, increasing demand uh, for high quality recycled material that we need uh, in our closed loop bottle to bottle recycling. Uh, Today, that, like I said, there is an unbalance, and that is even made worse by the fact that uh, hundreds of thousands of tons of good quality material actually exported to, to China at horrendous prices because we don't have the mechanisms in place to, to keep the material in Europe. Europe clearly is a net exporter of plastics, plastic waste. Uh, there are some countries making progress with plastics recycling, plastics collection. What role do you see for the European Union to encourage this? I think there are several roles that you can uh, think of. Of. First of all, um, accounting for uh, recycling in Europe actually as being uh, part of meeting the recycling targets versus everything can be done, including export, uh, and it's good enough to meet the target, I think would be a, 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 an incredible policy shift that will help uh, the domestic uh, recycling in Europe. So that's one. The other one is uh, that um, we have to re-import material from, uh, from Asia to actually to replace recycled material that we otherwise would have in here and we pay an extra uh, duty on that because it comes from Asia. Uh, the Asians get our recycled material for free so there's an unbalance there, there that uh, the European Commission actually could help address in terms of uh, creating a level playing field for the, the two material streams. So clearly a lot of different uh, issues at stake here. There also is the issue of uh, self-regulation for the industry. Where do you stand on that? Well I think we have uh, illustrated that that actually is possible and in some cases the preferred option um, if it is about recyclability of PET bottles for example we can wait until the eco design directive uh, comes into force and then has to be implemented in the national uh, member states uh, through their governments that may take us another five years by then we will have a quality of bottles that is so bad that they can't be even recycled anymore so we we decided to take uh, that in our own hands and with uh, other parties interested like the recyclers in Europe, uh, the collection agencies and also the, uh, the resin and, uh, and manufacturers in Europe, we have uh, created uh, a platform that creates uh, recycling uh, guidelines and on a voluntary basis uh, which we now as the beverage brand owners uh, have officially signed and agreed on uh, a code of conduct that actually stipulates that we all will adhere to those recycling standards. But some people are saying there is a very clear need for a paradigm shift. Uh, the MEP at the table here, uh, also the, the green groups are saying the paradigm in, in plastics recycling needs to shift. We clearly need this to be regulated because the industry is severely divided. What's your view on that? Well, I think the division might be between plastic converters and plastics uh, producers. That might be true. I think the shift in paradigm actually should focus uh, or should be in another, in another area, which is uh, that you will have to create um, legislation or a policy framework uh, that governs uh, not only collection of material to meet targets, but also the recycling here locally in Europe, which is not the case uh, currently. And that means um, the way you collect the organizations that you set up and that have been designed to a couple of decades ago need to change uh, their architecture and their aims and, uh, and strategies to be better aligned with the increasing demand for uh, high quality recycled material on the European market. So clearly there are still a lot of work. Uh, all stakeholders at the table here this afternoon at this uh, Eurective Stakeholder Workshop, what thoughts do you walk away with? Well, first of all, that uh, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. But I hear encouraging uh, signals, both coming from the Commission uh, as well as actually from the, uh, the EEB. Uh, I think we're fundamentally all thinking into the same direction. We might differ in opinion on how you do things in detail, but structurally, fundamentally, from the principal point of view, I think we're pretty much aligned. Now let's get do things.